So we're going to try this shit again. Just recorded the whole podcast and for some reason it didn't. It was too dark. But in any event, this episode we're going to talk about this big gorilla gorilla looking motherfucker. Now, I don't like to talk about black people too much in a disparaging way. However, this is actually a video about social media and this nigga and the other nigga. Right. It, it perplexes me every time I go on social media and the depiction of black people's image is always one of two things, right? The black woman mostly is shown as a whore or the black man is shown as a buffoon, right? When you have informative people like Riza Islam or Tariq Nasheed or Jason Black, I notice you don't get to see their videos in rotation or their clips or highlights or whatever, right? Even with Boyce Watkins, I follow him. I usually see a video from him like once a, every two days. Tariq Nasheed, I have to go to his page just to even see his stuff. So it just strikes me as odd that it seems like that social media, well, I don't like to use the race card too often. I'm going to have to use the race card on this one. It feels like literally they're like blocking people. I've even posted ads, the same ads, may I mind you, I've posted those and got two different results. Now, I'm assuming it's the same ad, so I should get at least the same amount of likes if not more, but I'll settle for at least the same amount. Sometimes I've posted duplicate ads and got less likes, right? Or less views. It's literally like they're blocking it. Now, I have reason to believe that social media has a lot of people working at their platforms that are not black. So they only want to show depictions of black people in one or two lights, right? Like I said, the black woman is shown as a whore or the black man is shown as a buffoon. If he's not shown as a buffoon, he's shown as a bloodthirsty killer, right? With the songs. Like, they, they'll promote drill shit all day long. Now, I ain't got no problem with drill shit, but it's like, I can't help but notice when you see other people of different backgrounds and ethnicities or even white people, they show a wide spectrum of content. They don't just give you one or two. You don't see a bunch of niggas as goofy like Adam Sandler on social media you get to see a wide spectrum people that talk about health people hell i even get stuff recommended to me like dogs and kittens i don't even have a fucking pet so it's just weird you even get to see videos from people that's non-white or non-black like that lawyer guy that, that keeps up that gives you updates on young thug or meg the stallion or any other celebrity that just got indicted or charged with some bullshit crime so i can't help but notice that when you have informative black people or people like myself that's cynical you don't get that content you got to seek it out i've even typed my name in in people's phone so they can find me on instagram and it don't even come up so it's like they're like blocking me. They're literally attempting to try to stop people from seeing my content. But when you see when you go on social media and you see shit like this, without it, I don't even follow this nigga or the other nigga. The other nigga holding the chicken wings up or the sand, the hoagie with shit sprayed on it. Pause. Right. Or, or the nigga that's gyrating a big buff ass nigga with <laughs> big buff ass nigga with a spaghetti strap tank top and some fucking leggings i don't i don't search these niggas i don't follow these niggas why is this recommended to me like it was one thing i put up a video about a, six months ago where i was like it's ironic i go on facebook everybody that's in my recommend is black now, i got no problem with that because i fuck with black people however where's the diversity why the fuck am i on facebook and i'm not seeing asian people hispanic people white people i'm not seeing people that's european i ain't seeing nothing i'm just seeing uh to, um, i'm just seeing shanika gonna get that money johnson or little man man williams or I stay on the grind, Tom Smith. Like, I, I don't see nothing but, like, little, and it don't even be black people with their first and last name. It be niggas. It be like, I'm going to get that, I'm about that money, man, man, Johnson. Like, I don't know this nigga. I, niggas be living in places I ain't never lived in, be, in before. And don't follow people that I follow. Don't have mutual friends. Like, why the fuck am I following? Why is this recommended to me? That's what I like to know. It's the same thing with Instagram. They recommend shit. I like, yeah, I like the little cute videos of the cats and little ducks, but I don't follow them niggas. Why is this recommended to me? I don't even like that feature. They need to stop doing that. Stop recommending shit that I don't follow. Right? Um, 
So I, I just find it sh strange that they show the most stereotypical black people on the internet. You want to see some ass or a bitch twerking or saying some lewd, lascivious shit? They're going to recommend it all day long. You want to see a nigga gyrating and acting like a fucking picking any over some damn hot wings? They're going to show you that all day long. You want to hear informative stuff, alternative perspectives. You want to see, hear viewpoints. They are countering the, the narrative about racism or injustice or anything, right? Hell, just the narrative talking about the war in uh, Ukraine. You want to see shit like that? They're going to block it. They're going to ban it. They're going to shadow ban it. They're going to make sure you don't get to see it, right? Um, hell, even podcasters that don't talk about sex and bullshit. If I get another recommended uh Black podcast is always talking about bitches talking about sucking dick or niggas talking about what bitches ain't doing, right? The gender war and shit is like they 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 put that it they put that shit on there in there on purpose. It's either some gender dividing shit, some Jezebel shit, some punk ass nigga talking about some drill shit, or or buffoon shit. Like it's like I understand it's positive. Like niggas ain't doing nothing but dancing and eating food, but it's the way they doing it. Like, they look weird as fuck. It's literally showing the black man in a weird ass light. Like, can we get some down to earth portrayal or depiction of black people? Not fucking stereotypes. It was one thing with the gangster rap shit or the drill shit, the barrage of that shit between 2018 and 2021. They, everybody was a fucking drill rapper. I mean, it didn't slow down, but it's still recommended on my shit. I don't even listen to that shit. I'm not getting Nas. I'm not getting recommended Jay-Z shit. I didn't even hear the God Did shit until I went to World Star. All I got to say to that is fuck you, social media, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook as a motherfucking staff and as a motherfucking platform. I'm out. No.